good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel today we'll be creating this uh, tubular shape with a variable radius and later we'll use uh, a foundation uh, we'll use it as a foundation to build an organic structure with a varying dimension the size of each individual element in the structure will depend on the radius of uh, the base shape at the point uh, where the element is located so let's take a look at the final model we'll be creating in grasshopper in the new uh, in the few uh, next minutes but first let me play around with the basic parameter With this graph mapper here, we can change the dimension of the our uh, overall shape with uh, these sliders. Will uh, it's possible to variate the uh, grid hexagonal grid, so we can change the divisions here. I want less division in the U direction, I can put it maybe 30 and uh, so the same for the V division and uh, then here we can use this graph mapper to, uh, to guide the thickness of uh, uh, the structure for example, we want to have more um, thick structure in, uh, for uh, low radius of the overall structure. We can do like this, and uh, so we have a very big structure in these points. And if you want, uh, if we want a very thick structure in uh, when the radius is uh, is uh, is big we can simply use uh, increase the slope of this line and so you can see that here we have a very 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 thick structure in this uh, in these points so in the the points where the radius of the tubular strip is larger the elements appear thinner whereas where the radius is smaller the elements are thicker and uh, I almost forgot to follow along the, with this tutorial you need to have lunchbox installed if you don't have it yet you can download it from Food for Rhino now we are ready to get started So, first you draw any curve in Rhino and import it on uh, Grasshopper um, using a curve parameter. Then create a pipe component and assign a radius, for example, in my case, 5. Afterward, create a range of value ranging. Um, um, ranging from 0 to 1, so domain is 0 to 1 and uh, assign a value, in your case 44 to the N inputs connect the R outputs of the range to both the X and Y um, input uh, uh, of the construction point, simple construction point component um, as well as to a graph mapper here the graph mapper uh, will provide you uh, with uh, 44 uh, values corresponding to 44 different radii for your um, variable to, uh, tubular shape in this case I, I choose this kind of, uh, of graph um, next you can create an amplification coefficient immediately after the gradient 
to increase uh, or decrease the dimension that come out the graph mapper. To do this, simply multiply the output of your graph mapper by a value uh, defined by a slider. In this case, 1.56. So we go back to the pipe shape and um, create a nicer core component, this component here that is going to um, al allow you to select all the isocore corresponding to the u and v direction u and v values that uh, have come out of the range so the range inside the point component and after the point component inside the isocore and uh, we want to select the, the um, transversal curve so we only take the curve coming from V. So select the transverse isocurve, which in my case are uh, those hosted in V. Use the area component to identify the center of each uh, of this curve. And then use the scale component to scale each of these curves with respect to, the, uh, to its center by the amount we defined earlier using the graph mapper. So we scale each one of these uh, transverse cores, a curve of uh, a value that is defined by this graph mapper here and by this multiplier here. At the end we have a set of scaled curves. Ah, remember to use flatten on both input of the scale component. Now take the resulting cores and create a lofted surface. This will be our base surface. Now we'll use the hexagonal structure command here from the lunch box to create a framework above the base shape we just created. Assign a slider, a slider to control the division in the U and the V direction. Now that we have the guidelines for our structure, let's determine how to assign the, assign the thickness to the nodes. Simply uh, take the nodes, use the core closest point, comp closest point component here so in this input we have the nodes and this in we have the core the one uh, with uh, we create uh, we draw we drew in rhino for clarity now uh, take the uh, calculated distance coming uh, from the output of a uh, curve process point um, and use first bound command and then remap command um, um, in this way you remap the distance values and distribute them over a range of uh, uh, a range from 0 to 1 this way you can use the graph mapper this graph mapper here to control the dimension of the nodes in relation to the radius of the main tubular structure. The final step is to apply the multipipe command, assigning the lines. So we are going to assign the lines coming from X uh, as curves, as curves input in a, a multipipe. Then uh, um, we uh, assign the uh, nodes here as sides point in, um, in a multipipe, and then we assign the result of the graph mapper to uh, the node sides component. And uh, last operation is to assign a slider here to define the dimension of the structure in relation to the node sides. After that, I made a um, um, preview using a material coming from uh, Rhino, so a metal material. 
and um, we can switch to um, render view to see the final result in the following tutorial you will see a further application of this uh, technique Thank for watching and uh, remember to uh, like the videos and uh, subscribe the channel if you find this tutorial interesting. Have a nice day.